I'm the only one who thinks this shit. All right. I don't know. I like fucked up shit, man. I like when crazy stuff happens. I like stuff like in sports. I love watching sports. Like I love all this stuff like people cheating, like with steroids. You know, I am so pro steroids. It's ridiculous. I, I could give a shit. I could really give a shit. You know, I don't know what Barry Bonds is doing, but whatever he's doing, I hope he keeps doing it. I hope he just comes out as like one big chest muscle with like a bat sticking out. It just keeps cranking him over the fence. You know. Who gives a fuck, dude? People have been cheating since, since the beginning. Since I was watching baseball in the 70s, half of them were on coke. You don't think that that helped you see the ball a little better? Be like wired out of your mind, like, dude, I can see every stitch. The curveball, I'm gonna fucking fight it. Twelfth inning, you're all fucking amped up. This is the shit, man. No, I love all that stuff. I like when you know people fall out of the upper deck when athletes. <laughs> Punch people in the stands. I mean, that's that's just like what's entertainment for me now. You know, I like that Jimmy the Greek moment that happens in sports. You know, like once every four or five years. You know that, like some 50, 55 year old white dude tries to explain why black people are kicking the shit out of white people in practically every major sport. You know, and it always goes down the same way, right? There's always like three white dudes, and the one white dude in the middle. He's always like the guy with like the theory. You know, he's always like, well, you know, it seems these uh, these African American athletes, they uh, they seem to have this uh, this quick twitch. Uh, muscle fiber, you know, there's a uh, slow twitch and there's uh, this quick twitch and the second the dude says that like the other two white dudes start like sliding out of frame like okay, this guy's getting fired and I'm not gonna be part of this highlight. Nice knowing you, Ned. Keep that seat warm, right? And the dude in the middle, he's just like hell-bent on getting fired, you know, he's just, he starts like bringing up slavery and evidently they were reading the strongest man with the strongest woman and that quick twitch <laughs> and literally 20 minutes later that dude's on TV, he's like fired, right? He's crying, his family stand there, he's got like a box of shit from his desk with like an Emmy sticking out. He's like, I don't know what I said, I was just talking about the quick twitch and the slow twitch and I was, wasn't just trying to make a point. No, I love that. I love seeing people mess up their careers like that. It's just funny to me. Plus, I gotta admit, as a white dude, on some level, I have to believe in that theory because it's like, are white dudes that bad at basketball? I can't even watch the NBA anymore, man. It's like every highlight, the white dude's like that, the black dude has like his nuts in his face. Fucking fast! I'm just sitting at home like, for the love of God, tackle the guy. Jesus Christ, get out of the way. Do you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? You know you're gonna be on Sports Center. Just get out of the way. Dude, I'm telling you, there's got to be something to that theory. I saw this show one time on Runaway Slaves. It was one of the most amazing programs I've ever seen in my life. Dude, when you ran away as a slave, you just didn't run to the end of the driveway and be like, ah, eh, fuck that job, just start walking down the street. Dude, you had to like run through whole states. There's dogs chasing you, you're hurtling shit, you're swimming. Those were the first fucking triathletes. And there was nobody helping him out. There was no dude on the side of the road like, come on, man, two more states, you're in Ohio. Suck it up, you're looking good, looking good. Yeah, you, dude, you were on your own. Is it any wonder? 250, 300 years of that shit, and then I'm gonna D you up in gym class? It ain't happening. I come from hundreds of years of alcoholics. I got like half a liver, you know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> you know what's funny to me about that stuff? You can't even like, you know, I obviously know that, that theory's crazy, but it's just like, you can't even bring up how well black people do, are doing in sports. Everybody gets all weird about it, which I don't understand, because it's like a compliment, you know? Like, feel how weird it is right now. You know, I just brought that shit up. Also. I'm saying something good, right? It's like I saw a coach get in trouble for that shit, like, his team was like 0-6 or something. They just couldn't win, and every week the press was just getting on him more and more and more, right? And the dude, he was just like flustered, and he had like a moment of honesty. They were like, why can't you guys win a game? He's like, oh, you know, oh, the offense isn't getting it done, you know, defense, you know, like too slow, and it just run up. Tell him, we gotta get some more black guys on this team, because I'm telling you, it's just not... And immediately, everybody's like, what, 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 what? Everyone started freaking out, like they had no idea what this dude was talking about. It's like, are you watching Sports Center? Or do you see the Olympics? Like, I love the 100 meter dash, right? There's always, there's always like, like, like nine black dudes and that, that one token white guy in like lane eight. And I'm just sitting there going, come on, man, one time. Just one time, just, just win the bronze, just do what you gotta do. And the white dude always stays with him to like the first turn, then he like fucking blows out his hammy. Those other eight black dudes are like, 
Where's that white dude the next Olympics? He's like up in the broadcast booth, his career's over. He's, where, he's like a commentator. Yeah, it's gonna be a great race. Still can't feel my fucking toes, but I'm telling you. No, I don't get it. It's like a compliment. We're saying you, you, you're fast. That's a good thing, right? People start all freaking out. Oh, you're acting like that's all we can do. You're saying we can't be scientists. No, we're not. All we're saying is if there was a race through the microscopes, you fuckers would win. <laughs> we're just saying that you're fast. You get there first. Your lab coat would be flapping in the wind. I'd get there like three minutes later all cramped up. Oh, what are you looking at, bacteria? No, you go first. You just go first. Please, Christ. It was a Volvo. The guy ran by a Volvo in street shoes. I've never seen that before in my life. No, I, I get into those arguments all the time. All the time. Friends of mine will be like, well, how come anytime a black athlete does something, they say it's an athletic move. Anytime a white athlete does it, they say it's an intelligent move. And it's like, well, f fair enough, man. It just, just depends on what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you read a defense, white or black, that's an intelligent move, right? But if you take off from the foul line, jump over nine other dudes and throw the shit down, those other nine guys aren't standing there like, fuck, why didn't I think of that shit? <laughs> Here I am dribbling around, guys. I think that's some superhero shit. Shit, like a cake flapping in the wind with a big S on your chest. I'm telling you, man, that, that's the funny thing about Hitler. Just let me finish. Let, let me work my way. Let me work my way through this idea. No, that's my, my favorite. My favorite sports clip is that Jesse Owens shit. I just love it because their whole angle was fucked up. He made Hitler leave in like the third quarter, right? He's putting down his number one finger, just fucking walking out of the stadium. Jesus Christ. Their whole thing was like, we are going to create a superior race. It's like, dude, I think we accidentally already did that. <laughs> well, we sent a select group of people to the gym every day for a couple hundred years. It's paying dividends. They're fucking dunking on us every day. <laughs> dude, how quiet was that limo ride home with Hitler? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know he was talking crazy shit when they were on the way there. They were all amped up. We are going to dominate Sieg Heil. Just going off. That whole ride home, they're just sitting there all quiet. You're sitting next to an even angrier than usual Adolf Hitler. <laughs> trying to make some sort of small talk like, eh, it is one nice day, isn't it? You know, nice boots. <laughs>